Hello, everybody. So as in the previous lecture, we're in this uh, file here, isotopes, the Microsoft Word document. And where we left off, we were looking at this equation, except that we had divided both sides left and right by strontium 86. And this should be a subscript, so I'll change that. So to write it a little more nicely, I've used the equation editor. So we have this ratio, 8786, that's what we would see in the rock. It'll be equal to the original ratio, uh, 8786 with the subscript 0. So that's what the rock starts with. Plus, whatever, however that ratio changes due to the rubidium 87 that's in the rock, plus the time that's elapsed. So notice that this can be written as the equation of a line, where this is y here, uh, this is x, and if we plot y, if we plot this on the y-axis and this on the x-axis, the b-intercept, the constant, will be the initial 8786 ratio that we started with, and then the slope of the line will be re related to this part here, e to the lambda t minus 1. So y is equal to b plus x times m, or more familiarly to probably as y is equal to mx plus b. So this M part is what's really important to us for the next part of this lecture. M is equal to this, e to the lambda t minus 1. So here I've just identified the y, x, and b parts. Here I've put M in red because this is what we're going to make use of in the next uh, video lecture when we go into the Excel portion of this. So if M is equal to this, we can solve for t. Now the way we do that is we'll first take this minus 1 and move it over here and make it a plus 1. So that's what I've done over here. Now we want to extract the time out of this e to the lambda t part and we'll do that by taking the natural log of both sides. So we'll take the natural log of the left side and natural log of the right side. Make that look a little bit better. When we do that uh, we're still what left the natural log of the left side, but the natural log of e to the anything is whatever the exponent is. Here the exponent is lambda t, so now that is taken out of the exponent. And we're just left with this, and the e is gone. We can divide both sides now by lambda, and we would get this equation, time t is equal to the natural log of the slope plus 1 divided by lambda. And so it's that equation that we'll make use of when we come back and take a look at the application of this equation in Excel.